Let's take a look how to make text made of liquid pixels here in Illustrator. For the font, I'm gonna go with Sloop Script Bold 1. It's a free Adobe font you can download, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Now in order to achieve similar results that I did, you're gonna need to increase the size of the text to 236. After this, we're gonna go to the object, click on Rasterize, make sure that you're on RGB, resolution 300, white background, and also make sure that the anti-aliasing is on none. Click OK. Let's go back to the object, and let's select Create Object Mosaic. From here, we're gonna go to the number of tiles, width, and height. And we're gonna need to set up the number of the pixels of the width. For example, if I add 43, then we're gonna need to calculate the height as well. So for that, you're gonna need to go to Use a Ratio, click on it, and this is going to calculate automatically. But I'm gonna go with 75, click on Use a Ratio, and the height is gonna be 35, click OK. And now we have it pixelated. I'm gonna drag this down, and as you can see under, we still have the original raster file. I'm gonna press on Delete, and I'm gonna bring this up. A right click on group and I'm gonna need to remove these white pixels so what I'm gonna do is go and select the magic wand tool double click on the magic wand tool and decrease the tolerance to one and all you need to do is click on one of these squares and it's gonna select all the white squares press on delete I also could remove other light gray squares by going back to the magic wand and you can select one of these and if you want to select multiple nuances you can double click and increase the tolerance a little bit more for example 19 and click on it again and check this out it's going to select more and delete but I don't really recommend that because it's going to remove too much pixels so what I'm gonna do instead because I'm gonna need all the pixels here I'm gonna select all and I'm gonna recolor everything to black click on the fill so it's gonna be on the top and select the black and from here, I'm gonna clean this manually. For example, if I wanna remove these pixels, I can press on delete, you know, and just have more control on, on the project. For example, here, I'm gonna press and hold Alt and add one more. So after you clean up the pixels, you can select all the composition. Let's go to the Pathfinder, click on Unite. And check this out, if I zoom in, you can see I got a lot of unnecessary anchor points here and these longer areas. So we're gonna need to remove that. So for that, we're gonna go to the Object, Path, and select Simplify. I'm gonna go with this default settings and let's check it again. As you can see, it removed all the unnecessary anchor points. Next, we're gonna need to make these sharp edges rounded. So for that, you can select the direct selection tool and for example, select the shape and make it rounded. And check this out, if I select all of it, as you can see, I won't be able to make it rounded. So if you select this one, for example, or select another one, you can do it, but you cannot do it with all. So there's like another trick how you can do it. I'm gonna select all of it. Let's select the direct selection tool and we're going to go up here to the menu and you can see the corners click on the corners and here we got the uh, radius i'm gonna scroll up and increase it to maximum so for me it's going to be like 3.8799 and now you can see everything is rounded so now we got a pretty nice liquid effect but we're going to need to connect also these circles and everything because after making it rounded you can see everything is disconnected so i'm going to select everything let's go to the object Let's go down to compound path and click on make. Now we're gonna go to the appearance. If you don't have it, you can go to the windows and select appearance. Now let's go down to the effect. We're gonna go to the path, select offset path, and I'm gonna decrease the offset to four. Let's go to the join, change it to round, click okay. Now let's go to the appearance. Here we got the offset path and I'm gonna drag it and drop it into the plus to create a duplicate. Now let's go to the second offset path, click on it. And we're going to customize it, go to the offset, type in a minus. So it's going to be minus four, click OK. So now as you can see, everything is connected, but we have too many things connected. As you can see also here, they got connected. So I'm going to select it. Let's go to the offset path and I'm going to decrease it to minus three, for example. Let's go to the top offset path and also decrease it to three. And there you go. And this is how I make rounded liquid pixels in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.